Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to our 19th vlog here at PTZ Optics, where we're talking about YouTube Live TV versus cable TV. And we have a really interesting presentation where YouTube live streaming is taking on cable TV. And we're going to really go over this in detail here. So traditionally, the main difference between YouTube TV and cable TV have been access to premium content. Large cable television networks such as AT&T, Comcast, and Verizon have all secured exclusive contracts with networks to protect their product value. But starting in 2010, the first year that paid television started to see quarterly subscriber losses, the world of online streaming video on the internet has taken over. Uh, major streaming providers such as Hulu, Netflix, and Sling TV are starting to offer replacements for the premium content that cable services offer. At the same time, YouTube has been growing in popularity organically, offering free and on-demand live streaming services. So fast forward to 2015, and now even premium television networks such as HBO and Showtime are sidestepping traditional cable television distribution with their own direct-to-consumer online applications. Major premium networks are being forced to embrace this new generation of cord cutters, and these people are replacing their television boxes with uh, products such as Roku and Apple TV. Wikipedia refers to cord cutting as viewers who are canceling their subscriptions to multi-channel subscription television services available over cable, dropping those expensive paid television channels, or reducing the number of hours of subscription TV viewed in response to competition from rival media available over the internet from Amazon, Hulu, iTunes, Netflix, and YouTube. So the rise of YouTube, now that it has over a billion users, it has almost one-third of all people on the internet every day watching hundreds of millions of hours of video, generating billions of views. Overall, YouTube and YouTube Mobile alone reaches more 18 to 34 year olds and 18 to 49 year olds than any other cable network in the United States. So if you're core customers are in that age range, then there's no better place than advertising on YouTube. Um, I want to talk a little bit about streaming adoption and then video on demand. So these two um, technologies are starting to merge. They're starting to come into the same platform. YouTube is now supporting live streaming, and we're going to talk about the success of YouTube Live. Video on demand on the right-hand side is in the early majority, right? Billions of people are doing it. One-third of people on the internet. That is the majority, okay? Or at least the early majority. Maybe it'll be one half soon. But live streaming, on the other hand, is still in the innovation stage. It's still in the early adoption stage. There's only 2.5 million subscribers on the YouTube Live um, channel where there's billions of people actually using YouTube. So what's going to happen is you're going to see the streaming adoption as YouTube and Facebook are pushing live streaming into the um, you know forefront of their platforms. You're going to see that go into the early majority, and you're going to see these t in order to ignite that innovation that you know getting those early adopters in. YouTube and Facebook are optimizing live content over their on-demand content in order to really take away what the cable TV has over them, which is that live news, those live broadcasts that you could still only get from cable te television networks. An example that I wanted to show um, that kind of proves this new growth of the YouTube platform in almost every conceivable genre is, um, you know, a John Oliver. John Oliver here is offering um, his television shows, and as you can see here, you know, some of these television shows are 19 minutes, 18 minutes long. Um, so almost full episodes he's uploading to YouTube in order to leverage those views and those subscribers. He's got almost 4 million subscribers, and he's getting millions and millions of views, and he's making money from advertising, and hopefully converting some of those viewers into HBO Go customers, which I'm sure is HBO Go. HBO's main goal there. So as cord cutting continues and this growth of YouTube is um, you know, really blowing up, the new platform not only offers on-demand video, but now it's offering broadcasters the ability to have a free content delivery network, what's normally called in the industry a CDN. And a content delivery network allows you to stream 
your show to YouTube and it's completely free. And not only that, but YouTube has a multiple camera streaming feature, which we reviewed in our last Monday vlog. And we offer it actually on every live Friday um, live show that we do and allows you uh, br a broadcaster to broadcast up to six cameras. So you could have one camera for the home team, one camera for the away team. And it really brings the you know ability for broadcasters way beyond what's offered on cable television. Um, so the live YouTube channel here is showing that they have over 2.5 million viewers. This channel was started January 2015, and it's getting it's growing at a rate of up to 250,000 viewers a month at the at the highest rate. So you can see here when it first started, you know there was slow growth, but as you can see in March, April, May, and June, June it's kind of tapering back off. We'll see where it plateaus there, but 200,000 subscribers a month. That's not just all live viewing. Those are people who are subscribing to YouTube to see what is the latest live streaming content they have. So that's really becoming a live television network online. So we wanted to, you know, it would seem that the writing is on the wall for major television networks, and this is a really good thing for small businesses. And it's just beginning here. Uh, the video on demand market is $25.3 billion today, but it's expected to grow to $61 billion by 2020. So there's tons of room for growth here. And, uh, you know, whether you're creating videos that are getting have, being searchable on YouTube or creating your own live show and providing live video content, you want to be part of this democratization of television distribution. And, you know, the proof is in the pudding here with 2 million subscribers in less than a year on the live. I'm gonna, we're going to keep our eye on this. I'm sure that's going to be growing. It's growing at a, a basically a rate of almost a million subscribers every five to six months. The business drivers here, and this is where PTZ Optics comes into play, is that the cost of video production equipment continues to decrease. And the value of video content that you're creating with that production equipment is increasing. So together, those two values are creating a massive business opportunity for anyone who can create video content that their customers want to see. And there's a whole mindset around that. We're not going to go over like the tips there, but there's just a massive value opportunity here. Now, I, I would if you have never done any of this before, I would start with just creating high quality video content. And we have Ud free Udemy courses to teach you how to do that. But if you've already done that, the next step is really live streaming. And you can reach larger audiences globally. You can give your content a sense of urgency. There's a massive value opportunity here. And you can have live customer engagement. You can answer a single question for a customer and the entire audience benefits. And then there's social media optimization on Facebook Facebook and YouTube because they're trying to take a larger chunk of what the cable TVs have to, to kind of just shed off there as this whole trend continues. So tune in to our weekly live show Fridays at 11 p. Um, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we're going to be going over um, how all this works. I just cut the uh, cut the cord at my house here. You can see I'm taking out that Verizon telephone box or Verizon um, cable box, packing it up and shipping it back to a Verizon because the time has come to do this. We're not the only ones. Um, that's all we have today, everybody. That's our vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have uh, stuff like this coming out all the time. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're happy to have you here. We have free Udemy courses to teach you, get you up to speed. And every Friday we have these live shows where we go over the industry and what's going on. So thank you for watching, everybody. Have a nice day.